As an artist or designer, you're probably using reference when working in Photoshop. Now, there are a number of ways to go about this, the easiest of which is to open up some reference photos, whatever you're going to need, which opens up in a bunch of separate tabs. And then, if you want to, you can click through them as you need to use them, but more often than not, you're going to want to look at more than one at a time. So, what you might end up doing is sitting here and, you know, positioning these, zooming in on a portion that you like, you know, that sort of thing. You know, so you can see how it becomes cluttered very easily. You know, and I have all these other photo references that I might want to look at at the same time. So it becomes kind of cumbersome. And on top of that, what happens when you have too many document windows open, um, you'll use too much RAM in Photoshop and whatever you're working on might slow down. Another solution to this is to say, copy a photo, paste it into another document, a large one, you know, and keep doing this over and over again until you have a reference sheet, which is a very ideal thing. That way you can have one document open and have a bunch of reference in it. Now, what you see here is a pitfall to this sort of thing is that a lot of your documents that you're going to use as reference are going to be different sizes. And so you're going to have to sit there and resize a lot of them. Not only that, you're going to have to reposition them. So if you have, you know, 10, 15, 20, maybe even 30 different reference photos you might want to use of materials, landscapes, characters, that sort of thing, you're going to sit here for maybe 15, 20 minutes or more just getting these all in here and then organizing them. And then you still have all these tabs, and then you got to get rid of them. Um, it's just a pain. So basically, the idea is, is to get a reference sheet like this with a bunch of photos in it that you can have one document open up that's not going to use a ton of RAM, but do it without having to spend all this time. And the way I found to do that, as opposed to dealing with all of these in that way, is to use a program Google has called Picasa. Now with Picasa, you can go to Google, type it in, and you can download it for free. It's a free program you can use. You can use it for all sorts of things. You can use it for editing photos, um, organizing photos, favoriting things, sharpening, blurring, all sorts of stuff, color correction. Um, if you have Photoshop, though, you're probably going to be using that for it. But for um, our purposes, we want to use the collage feature. And so let's say I want to create this collage of my reference photos. So let me just, you know, I'll just choose a number of these different sizes and shapes. And I'll go up here where there's a photo collage button. Click Create Photo Collage. And then if it doesn't automatically create it for you, it'll highlight your stuff over here, and you just drag it in. And as you can see, it'll automatically figure out the sizing adjustments and put them all in order for you. So you don't have to worry so much about, you know, positioning them all yourself. It's very fast. You can even shuffle the pictures around. You just keep clicking this and get different, you know, a different organization. Um, if you don't like where one photo is compared to another, you can switch where it is like that, very easy to do. Um, the one problem you might have is if you don't have a decent variety of photo sizes, um, some things will get cropped. You'll get a little bit cropping on the sides or maybe a little bit of cropping at the top and the bottom. So this might not be ideal if you want all of the image, but if you're cropping it, if it's getting cropped, it's just gonna be somewhere between 10 and 15%, so really not that big of a deal. But you'll see this tall, this tall format image, if I put it in, say, one of these more landscape slots, you can see how badly it crops it. So you want to keep it closer to something that it's automatically adjusting for you. Um, so once you've done this, you go up here to settings, if you have the clips over here, make sure it's in mosaic mode, otherwise you won't get the right results, and click create collage, and it's going to create it for you, because before it's just a draft. Now your collage is created, and down here at the bottom there's an export button. And so you want to click export, Use original size so it maximizes it. Um, it'll have you choose a folder, you export it. Then we just go into here, and here's our collage. And you can see if I right click this, go to properties, it's, five, it's over 5,000 pixels wide and 3,200 pixels tall, which means that you can zoom in on a lot of these photos if you're using higher res ones, and they're still going to be good resolution. They're not going to be full resolution, likely, but they could be. But you're getting enough detail in there still to be able to see what you're going to want for your reference. And now what's cool about this is let's go back into Photoshop with it. 
And you might wonder, well, maybe this photo's here and I want to look at this at the same time that I'm looking at this because these are pretty much set in stone. There's no layers you can move now. But what you can do if you don't know this trick, if you go up to Window, Arrange, and go to New Window for your document, you'll have two separate windows now for the exact same document. And let me just do something real quick to show you how this works. If I take the brush tool and mess this one up over here, as soon as I'm done doing that, it'll update on this one. So it's very good if you're painting to have you know, a zoomed in version you're working on on one monitor if you have two monitors and a zoomed out version on the other one to see what the effects are. But anyways, what you can do with this now is say, let me turn that off, zoom in on say this, oh, maybe I want to use this, but also this one over here, which isn't very close to that, unless I want to full screen it, and then zoom in on that. And still, as opposed to having those 15 document windows we had open before, we still have two of a single layer document. So your RAM usage is going to be low, and it's very easy. And it's more or less took no time at all. You literally just select the photos you want, you click create collage, and it's done. There's your photo reference. You know, so instead of spending a bunch of time trying to compile these things or dealing with, you know, how cumbersome it can be sometimes to have all those different photos open. You can create this very easily and you have all your reference right there. And you can create a new one later. You can create two collages if you have a bunch of stuff and it's still not as problematic as creating your own reference sheet from scratch or having a bunch of document windows open that are going to get in your way. So hopefully this helps you out and good luck. Happy painting.